Some Teslas are a dream to own. Some are a headache. Today, I rank every Tesla model from worst to best, and here is the twist. The one to avoid is not the cheapest. I'm Morgan Lane, a certified automotive safety specialist who lives and breathes recall data. Welcome to Recall Roadmap with Morgan. I pulled together Consumer Report scores, NHTSA and IIHS crash tests, recall counts, real-world maintenance costs, and charging performance. Quick context for the numbers. Consumer Report says EVs have about 42% more problems than gas cars, so expectations matter. Tesla as a brand sits 14th out of 30 for predicted reliability, which means it is not all roses, not all doom either. I sifted through thousands of owner reports, crash results, and recall logs so you do not have to. We will judge reliability, safety, recalls, repair, and maintenance cost, and charging experience. Then I will match each car to the buyer it actually fits, so there are no nasty surprises after you sign. You might think the Model 3 walks away with it, but the numbers will test that. Stick with me to the end for a quick buyer guide. Let's set the rules and then start the countdown. Here is how I rank every Tesla. Simple rules, real data. First, predicted reliability from consumer reports. It is a zero to 100 score built from owner surveys, and it tells us how likely a car is to have problems. For scale, Model 3 sits at 47, the highest of the lineup, while Model X is down at 27. Second, safety. I use NHTSA star ratings and IIHS awards to check crash protection and driver assist. Third, recalls. A recall is a safety fix ordered through NHTSA. Some are over-the-air software, some need parts. Model S has shown up in 39 recall orders. Model X has about 38. Even the new Cybertruck racked up 8 recalls in about 17 months, which shows how fast fixes land in a tech-heavy brand. Fourth, maintenance and repair cost. Tesla's own estimates show Model 3 at about $257 to $499 a year. Model X is $421 to $748 a year. Fifth, charging and range. I note speed to add miles and real range. Spoiler, most Teslas tie here. Not every metric points the same way, so the balance matters. All right, those are the rules. Let's start the countdown. Number four, Model X. I know, the big doors and big speed feel special, but the data is clear. Consumer Reports predicts just 27 out of 100 for reliability, the lowest of any Tesla. For an $80,000 plus SUV, that is a red flag. It also carries a CR overall score around 53. The X appears in about 38 recall orders. Think roof trim that can lift, door sensor logic, and other bugs. Many fixes happen by software, but some need hardware and time. I have seen falcon wing doors go out of sync in the service bays. When a sensor or latch acts up, you wait on parts and labor. Running costs are the highest too. Tesla estimates about $421 to $748 a year for upkeep. Bigger tires, heavy glass, air suspension, and those doors all add cost. On the bright side, it seats up to 7 and the plaid can fly. Newer X can charge up to 250 kilowatts. Early X charge slower, closer to 150 kilowatts. The short story is simple. It is the most complex Tesla, so it has more to break. Next up, the sedan that started it all. Let's see how the Model S compares. Number three, Model S. The original flagship still looks sharp and pulls hard, but years of updates cannot erase some aging pains. Consumer Reports puts its predicted reliability at 30 out of 100. That is better than the X, but still below average and CR's overall score sits near 63. It is also the most recalled Tesla by count, showing up in 39 recall orders since 2012. Owners have seen issues from front suspension parts to sticky door handles to warning chimes. I have replaced S door handles and control arms myself. The parts are not cheap. Annual upkeep usually lands around $338 to $580 and collision repairs on the big glass and panels can add up. Now the good news, range. A long-range S can reach about 405 miles on a charge. 
Later cars can fast charge up to 250 kilowatts. On the highway, that is hard to beat. So the S delivers comfort and distance, but the reliability and recall history keep it off the top of the list. Before we move to the newer models, let's pause and look at a strength every Tesla shares. Up next, the shared win every Tesla enjoys, charging and range. Here's the good news that every Tesla owner enjoys. The supercharger network is huge with more than 40,000 stalls worldwide, and it just works. On a V3 charger, most Model 3 and Model Y and newer S and X can take in power at up to about 250 kilowatts. In real life, that adds roughly 200 miles in around 15 minutes if the battery is warm. For range, you are covered. A 2024 Model 3 long range is rated around 341 miles. A Model S can touch about 405 miles. Model Y sits in the 330 plus zone, and a refreshed Model X is around the mid 330s. Older S and first gen X came up on V2 hardware, so they charge closer to 150 kilowatts, but that is still quick for travel. In simple terms, range anxiety fades away in a Tesla. That is why charging will not decide today's ranking. If this breakdown helps you plan smarter trips and safer buys, please subscribe for more deep dives and hit like so others can find this. Now let's talk about crash safety for the whole family. Safety is the part I care about most, and here Tesla brings reassuring news. Across the board, Tesla models have earned top crash scores. The Model Y grabbed a 5-star overall rating from NHTSA and an IIHS top safety pick plus in recent years. The Model 3 has the same honors. Model S holds strong federal scores too. The design helps. No engine block up front, a rigid passenger cell, and big crumple zones all push energy away from you. Advanced driver assist can help, but it needs thoughtful use. We have also seen electronic recalls like a seat belt reminder chime or a hood sensor tweak. Those are software or small hardware fixes, not signs of weak crash structure. The big takeaway is this. Safety does not separate these models much. You can feel confident in any Tesla here. With charging and safety covered, it is time to return to the countdown and meet the SUV that just about everyone is driving today. Let's roll into number two. Number two, Model Y. This is Tesla's best seller for a reason. It blends space, speed, and family duty with fewer headaches than the older big cars. Consumer Reports predicts 41 out of 100 for reliability, and its overall score sits around 72. That is well above Model S and Model X. In 2023 alone, Tesla sold about 403,700 Model Y units, so even small bugs can look big in the news. We have seen things like camera wiring reroutes and seatbelt warning logic, often fixed over the air. Maintenance lands mid-range about $316 to $643 a year. It shares many parts with the Model 3, which helps keep costs down. Range is strong in the 330 plus zone, and charging up to 250 kilowatts makes road trips easy. Safety ratings are top tier. Early build fit and finish could be uneven, but later cars look cleaner. For most buyers, this is the easy pick. Plenty of room, great charging, and no scary repair pattern. Only one Tesla edges it out on overall balance. On to number one. Two, number one, Model 3. The humble sedan takes the crown. The numbers are clear and steady. Consumer Reports predicts 47 out of 100 for reliability, the highest of any Tesla, and the overall CR score sits near 71. Owners praise its simple design and steady updates since the early years. Maintenance is the lowest in the family at about $257 to $499 a year. Range reaches about 341 miles, and it sips up to 250 kilowatts on V3 chargers. Crash tests are top marks, with 5 stars across the board. Performance trims are wild too, with 0 to 60 in the low 3 second range. No car is perfect, and I still see small notes like a spongy brake feel or a panel that needs adjustment, but those are minor and much improved from 2018 era cars. Hardware recall drama has been lighter here than on S or X, and most fixes land by software. For value, reliability, safety, and charging ease, 
the Model 3 is the balanced winner. Now let's turn the scores into real-world advice you can use at the dealership. Here is the cheat sheet that turns data into action. Worst to best was Model X, Model S, Model Y, then Model 3. If you truly need a three-row EV with wild doors in space, the Model X can fit your life but plan for higher costs and more shop time. If long highway range and big power matter most, a Model S still shines, especially a newer refresh but expect some quirks. For families and daily duty, the Model Y is the easy choice. It is spacious, safe, and reasonably reliable. For most shoppers, the Model 3 is the safest bet for a new or used Tesla. It has the best reliability scores and the lowest upkeep. Whatever you choose, check the model year and the recall record. Post-2021 refresh cars often charge faster and fix older issues on S and X. Remember, EVs skip oil changes, but big glass suspension parts and electronics can still get pricey. Which Tesla fits your life after seeing these ranks, and what did we miss that matters to you? Drop your plan in the comments and I will read every story. You have been watching Recall Roadmap with Morgan. We just saw how each Tesla trades strengths for weaknesses. The big idea is simple. Pick your priority and buy with eyes open. If reliability and cost matter most, the Model 3 wins. If space matters, the Model Y or X might be worth the trade. If epic range is the need, the S still rules that lane. I do this work so you do not have to dig through crash reports and recall PDFs at midnight. It is not about hype or hate. It is about being prepared and staying safe. Share your story below even if it disagrees with the data. I learn from every owner note. If this helped, please subscribe and ring the bell and tap like and share with a friend who is car shopping. Thanks for watching and drive safe. What matters most to you in a Tesla? Reliability, range, or tech?